Russell Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, give him a hand. What's going on, everybody? Give a big round of applause for all the performers tonight. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah. Another round of applause for our host the evening, Brad Poo, and everybody. Yeah. Brad Poo. What can you say about Brad Pruitt that hasn't already been said about Ted Bundy? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a good looking guy, but just something in his eyes, you know? That's one shot. <laughs> <laughs> the, first time, the, the first time I ever met you, Brad, before we ever spoke, oh, shit. I was just like, this looks like the kind of guy who would ask you to watch his homemade sex tape. <laughs> Yeah, like you guys want to watch this video of me and Lindsay? Like, all right. I'm just, Brad's not really, Brad's a great guy. Brad is. Like, I met Brad because I was dating your old backup singer. When you're in what, with Brad Pruitt and the Night Rangers or whatever you guys are. Night, night sweats, no, uh, something, late night boozes. There we go. Night Rangers. <laughs> Brad Pruitt and the Night Rangers. Night Rangers. Night Rangers. Well, it's close enough. And Brad, we, you know, I was dating her for a couple weeks and we were going over to Brad's for practice and Brad said, he looked at her, he goes, you know what? I don't care if you and this guy break up. Like, I like him, he's sticking around. He's my fucking band, my fucking house. This guy's sticking around. And sure enough, about a month later, she dumped me. And I didn't hear from Brad for two years. You motherfucker. Just sitting at home crying, but where's my new friend Brad? Nowhere! <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm being so hard on Brad tonight. <laughs> I love you, man. Because Brad, you're like the Kurt Cobain of licensing. Like, like, yeah, people like you now, but just wait. <laughs> that new Clark walking around with the Who the Fuck is Brad Pro t shirt on. I'm sure. Laughing about an image with a shotgun underneath. Oh. <laughs> Corey made a really tasteless. Like, how dare you, Corey? <laughs> now, a buddy of mine told me the other day, he said, Russell, I want you to live every day like it's your last. And I disagree with that. Live every day like it's your first. Naked and screaming. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> you like that? You like that? That was nice. Speaking of, there's a lot of beautiful ladies here tonight. <laughs> A lot of temptation in here. You know what I mean? And I left my girlfriend at home. I didn't brush my teeth just in case one of these hoes tries to kiss me. I ain't letting it happen. Oh no, I, I hear a lot lately. You know, my female friends talk about they wanna, you know, wanna fix this. Every woman has something that they don't like about themselves, right? But I think, I want to ask you, I want to ask the ladies here this, is it that you want to look good for yourself so you can feel confident, or are you just trying to look fuckable? Because if it's the second one, I'm here to tell you, it's a lot easier than you might think. You just got to look like you don't smell. That's it. Because I like a big girl, too. Like, I like a girl who's, who's barely doubles as like a titty show. You know what I mean? Just like rest it right on the stomach. I was, thinking about, I was thinking about titty fucking the other day, Brad. Uh, not, not titty fucking Brad, but titty fucking comma Brad, period. And I realized that of all the sexual things, this is the one way, there's the one move that there's no nice way to put it. Like, there's no, like, chest humping. You know what I mean? Oh, Rocky Mountain chest hug. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing there. There's no making love for, like, titty fucking. I don't know. What else we got, Brad? Oh, I told you, uh, most of the vaginas I've seen in my life have all been unshaven. Because no woman ever plans on having sex with me. So, you know, you gotta do a little convincing. And I had, I had this weird advantage where you wouldn't think where I look like I'd have a small penis, but in reality, I have a very, very average penis. <laughs> but it's like when all your buddies tell you a movie's gonna suck, and then you catch it on TNT, and you're like, it's pretty good! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good! <laughs> no, I had, oh, he liked that joke a lot! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I did 
new uh, <laughs> pedals and shit everywhere. Sorry. I'm not used to this. Keep fucking backwards. Like a rock star life. All right, let me get up. What's up, everybody? No, I, uh, I gotta. I, I, I can't help it, Corey. Shut the fuck up. Where's my nose? You fuck me up. You already told people you stink. Don't worry about it. I didn't forget throwing the other. Oh, God. I know. Anyway. No, I was, uh, Back a few years ago, I was dating this girl. Hey! Shut up! I'm talking, Brad. I'll let you play your little songs. It's time for me to tell my jokes. <laughs> Quit asking him questions. Alright, everybody calm down. Listen to Russell. Yeah, listen to Russell. Anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> fuck you, Brad. <laughs> you know, a few years ago, I was dating this girl, and we were together. And we moved into an apartment together, and we had a few days off work, so, you know, we were just, you know, we were just going at it like crazy, breaking in the new place. And after a few days, she started kind of hurting. And she's like, you know, baby, my vagina hurts. Like, it's just, it hurts when I walk, it hurts when I pee, like, it's just, my pussy hurts. And, you know, as a dude, I'm like, you're welcome, baby. No, for you, girl, anytime. And just it keeps going. And then we get to work. And she's got like a little cart and she's using like a walker. And she's fucking limping around. And another coworker asks her what's wrong and she goes, oh man, it's just Russell's been fucking the shit out of me the last few days. And, you know, I'm just a little unassuming nerdy white guy. Like, that, that Russell? And I'm just standing there loading pastrami up on a meat slicer like, what's up? What's going on? She ended up, about an hour later, she had to go to the hospital. Like, and I was a fucking god. Like, I'm talking about, they called me the paralyzer for two weeks straight. And what it was was she got, this is kind of gross, she got an abscess on her leg. So about a week later, I had to go back to the doctor with her, and I'm just asking them questions the whole time, like trying to get them to say that it was me. Like, that I'm not, like, you know what I mean? Like, I want it on an official record that I'm sending women to the hospital. <laughs> I need it for my resume. And he's not giving me anything. Like, I'm like, so, uh, like, what can cause something like this, Doc? And he's like, oh, you know, just the, the glands. Sometimes they get a little, little stopped up, the lubricant gland. I don't know what they're called. The lube glands. And I'm like, yeah, but, like, it's like overworking, though, right? Putting in that double time. Come on, give me something, Doc. Just like the reaction to that last line. I did almost kill a girl once. Not with my dick, but like... <laughs> no, she wanted, she wanted me to choke her. And like, I don't know if you guys are into that. I didn't know I was into it until I got the go-ahead. I was like, I'm allowed to hit you, all right, this is great. But she kept saying like, choke me, choke me. And I just kept going and kept going and then she started turning like blue. So I let go, and she kept doing it. She was like, uh, uh, uh. I don't know what to do. So I've seen in movies, they smack people. And they're freaking out, so I just was like, baby, baby, come on, baby. And she wouldn't wake up, and I should probably tell you, I live with my parents. So, like, so she's naked, I'm naked, and nobody wants to do that, go in the other room like, oh, mom? You can be in here a minute. So she's not waking up, so I just give her, I mean, I fucking ran back, boom! What happened, what happened? Nothing, baby, don't worry about it. Cause you don't want to, I just smack the shit out of you. Did she give me one of those, y'all really hurts, why? No, don't worry about it, baby. You ever get nervous when you hear a white rapper in the line with the word bigger? He was like, don't do it, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> and I found a stink bug in my house the other day, bro. And I was about to kill him, but he was chilling out on my deodorant. So I figured he's trying to turn his life around. Let him be. Wow. <laughs> You know, I bet in all of human history there's been at least one cannibal who was eating a guy named Herb. And as he's cooking him, he's like, 
sprinkling spices on him, going, herbs on herb, huh? And then he looks around, there's nobody there. He's just, Am I right, guys? It's a lonely life as a, as a cannibal. Is it just me, or does Meryl Streep look like she hasn't sucked a dick since the 80s? Like she just, it looks like she's just above it. Like I don't do that, that's degrading to women. It's kind of the point, Meryl. Like you don't think we feel degraded when your fucking thighs are pressing on our ears? Or if we lick you one wrong way, you're gonna break our fucking neck? Like sex is, you know? They say, like, porn acting's bad, but I want to see Daniel Day-Lewis win an Oscar with a cock in his ass. That's all I want to say. <laughs> Brad really likes that one. Alright. Okay. I'm not right? Alright, I got a couple more things. I wrote uh, some dirty limericks. You guys want to hear? Yeah! Like, once was a man from Nantucket. Hey, come on! Alright. There once was a man from Peru who liked to shit in his shoe. He said he loved the sound of that sloshy mound of hot and stinky poo. There once was a man from Vancouver whose girlfriend was like a Hoover. She sucked and swallowed all those who followed for dicks she could not outmaneuver. There once was a woman named Hannah whose favorite fruit was the banana. She would peel it back and not even yet as she went all the way down to Savannah. <laughs> I got a couple more that I'm out of here. There once was a chick named Mandy who loved to give a good handy. She'd jerk up and down and never would frown as cum shots made her feel dandy. There once was a gay guy named Brandon whose asshole was like the Grand Canyon. He would get on his knees for any guy who said please as his mouth always needed a companion. Uh, you like it? Yeah. Alright, I got one more and that's all for me. There once was a hooker named Adam. Every guy in the town had had him. He would say with a sigh as he wiped come from his eye, I guess I better get back at him. <laughs> Thank you guys, y'all have a good night. Gentlemen, another hand for Russell Smith. Come on, man.